what's your thoughts on the last dance? I, 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 I guess I talked to you, but I never talked to you about that in particular. I'm curious to hear what you thought about how that documentary ended out. Well, it was really fun for one thing. I watched it with my, my kids, you know, who are all in their, you know, mid twenties now, uh, pretty much. So, uh, it was fun for them because they were alive, but, uh, you know, didn't, didn't know what was happening in 1998. So kind of fun to watch with them and, and for them to get a glimpse of what, what our, our life was like back then. Um, I think the, they did a great job with the documentary. They captured things really well. They, the, the hard part was not seeing uh, some guys who really made a, a huge impact on our team because oh, they can only cover so much in, in a documentary. The so guys like Ron Harper, uh, Luke Longley, were really, really big uh, pieces and big people on our team, and, and um, we didn't get much info on them. Um, and and I, I was disappointed for them just because it, it really is, you know, it's a nice thing for all of us to be able to look back on um, you know, as teammates, uh, you know, 23 years later. And I wish there had been a little bit more on those guys. I thought that was surprising, too, because when I covered the Lakers and Ron was there, I saw how close he was with Phil Jackson. So I was actually shocked that he didn't play a bigger role there. Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons Phil brought Ron to L.A. to the Lakers was because of the impact he made uh, on the Bulls. And, uh, and Ron was, you know, he was kind of the, the uh the other attack dog in our defense um you know that's what our our uh, coaches used to call our 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 defense the the dobermans you know they did scotty michael dennis ron harper i mean those guys were uh they were just a wrecking machine um they could they were all just long and athletic and strong and they could switch and guard anybody on the floor really uh kind of a modern defense you know but it was one of the first versatile defense is the kind of thing you see now like, that, that we've had, for example, with the Warriors, you know, with guys like Iguodala and Green and Clay Thompson, Durant, you know, all these uh, long, active, rangy defenders at, at one time on the court. Bulls were, in my mind, were really one of the first teams to ever uh, present that kind of defense to an, op- uh, to an opponent. And uh, so Harp was a huge part of that. And, and um yeah, so I, I think all of us, you know, as we called each other and, you know, staying in touch with guys, we we, we all sort of had the same sentiment that, uh, man, this is great, but uh, too bad Harp and, and uh, Luke Longley aren't, aren't more um, involved with this because they, like I said, they, they played played huge roles. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.